How you doing? David Taub here from nextlevelguitar.com. Hope all is well. Hope you're enjoying our uh, free videos. Go to our website at nextlevelguitar.com if you want to do some advanced studies. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about right hand tapping and how to incorporate it into your playing with a real kind of triplety feel, playing eighth notes, but has a triplet feel because I was playing three notes at a time. And lots and lots of guys do this. I hear this a lot in like uh, Kurt Hemmett's playing from Metallica, Joe Satriani, some Eddie Van Halen, you know, a lot of guys do it. But a lot of students uh, are confused as far as the actual sequence and getting the feel. And that's what I want to go over more so you could feel this and create it. If you like it, take it and make it your own and do your own things with it kind of thing, right? Um, okay, so the first thing is... Um, just a little bit, I use my um, my uh, middle finger when I tap because I like to hold the pick between my first and second fingers. And then my middle finger, I, I don't have to let go of the pick. Some guys like to tap with their uh, pointer finger or their, their first finger. But they have to put their pick in the mouth or put the pick down or something and I don't like to do that. So whatever you're comfortable with, but, but if you hold the pick with your thumb and first finger, uh, like I do, then you could use your second finger or your middle finger to tap with and that works out real well for me. Um, let me uh, wheel in close and I'll show you what I'm doing and I'll count the timing off for you so you can get ripping on this stuff. Okay, here I am up close on the neck. This is the fifth fret right here and we'll just play, I'm just gonna play like in A Aeolian or um, C major. That's the scale I'm going to tap out pretty much. I'm going to outline those notes. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be with your left hand, uh, we'll just stay in this position here. So you're going to be basically playing with your left hand, you're going to be playing the A note on the high E string and you're also going to be playing this C note on the eighth fret of the high E string. Those two, I use my first and fourth fingers for that. And then the main tap riff is I'm tapping on the twelfth fret, which is an E note, with my um, right hand, and here's the motion. Tap, and then pull straight down. Tap, pull straight down, and then pull off with your pinky. So you get a three note sequence. That's the trick to this. Tap, pull like, pull it like you're pretending like you're pulling it off the fret note because you gotta sound the C note. So it's E, C, and then pull off to A. So there's the three notes. So one and uh, so it's like an eighth note, but it feels like a triplet because you're playing three at a time. And then after you do the first three, one and uh, you got to hit both of these. It's almost simultaneously. This is going to take a little bit of practice for you to get that because you got to get your pinky back on the fretboard about the same time as you're tapping it because you don't want to hear this. That's another cool riff you can do. But right now, I just want to show you the, the, the three note riff, which is... So I almost come down with my right uh, second finger. At the same time, I'm bringing my pinky back on the fretboard. So it's... You just work the speed up. And once you get the speed up, then all I do is I move it around on the scale. It's so easy and cool, right? Because here's my, if you want to play your A Aeolian or A natural minor scale at the 12th fret. Basically it's all the, the no sharps or flats like C major. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G is the notes in A, A Aeolian or A natural minor. So we're going to play the E note, the F note, and the G note. Also, you can play the A note too. You can go up to the B, you can go as far as you want. But I do this a lot in my playing, and what I do is, if you know your scales on one string, just tap the scale. I'll do it slow. Now move the tap note. Now I'll move it to the F. But notice I keep the same pattern with my left hand. I'm still doing that pull off. I'll do it slow. Tap the F. Tap the G. Tap the A. So you see, you're just moving this tap note on the string. And then you could do it like one time each. It's a very cool thing. And then what 
But I like what Kurt Hammett does a lot is he'll move that pattern up the strings. Joe Satriani does this a lot too. So basically now I'm going to tap on the B string. I'm going to do the same thing with my left hand on the, the fifth and eighth frets, which is now a E note and a G note. And now I'm going to tap at the twelfth fret on the B string, which is the B note, tap the C note, the D note, and the E note. So you get this slow. Same three notes. P tap, pull, pull. Right? So... Right? Left hand does the same thing. Kind of, once you get the hang of this, it's really easy. You, you can do it! Um, and then what he does a lot is he'll, then when you get good at that on one string, and you can move it around, then start skipping strings and go from the E to the B string or to the G string, and you'll get stuff like this. Now B, E, high, B. Kind of cool. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Practice that tapping. Uh, uh, we'll do more tapping sequences, but mess around with that because, like I said early on, you know, you can make that a four note sequence, a five note sequence. Sometimes, what I'll do too is, is I'll add another note with my left hand and I'll pull off three notes. So I'm pulling off with my pinky, third finger, first finger. Tap that out, and you get this four notes now. One, two, three, four. Tap, pull, pull, pull. Again, following this aioli, and you get this sound. If you can work the speed up, I'll do it slow and speed it up. That sounds really nice when you move it around. It's just a little four note pad. And then jump strings with that. Okay? Remember too that you're going to mute out all the other strings. It's so important when you're playing uh, guitar that you mute out all the notes that you're not playing. And I'm muting a lot with the palm of my right hand and my first finger laying on the strings on the left hand. So I use a two-handed approach to mute out all the strings, up to, to eliminate all the string noise. If you don't know how to do that, go to our website, nextlevelguitar.com, and we'll teach it to you. I'm David Taub. Rock on. See you in the next lesson.